Okay, so the premise of this movie is Groundhog's Day. And my question is, how would you how would you ever tell someone that you're in the Groundhog Day loop? Like, how can you convince someone of that? Yeah. Listen to me, okay? Right now, this very moment, it's happened before. Twice, I think. What are you talking about? Shit. Tell me you remember. When you have to remember. Have you lost your fucking mind? <laughs> I mean, her okay, reaction so, is correct. <laughs> like, like, yeah. If somebody walks up to you and you're like, we've been here before, they're like shaking you. They're like, we've been here before. Mm-hmm. And you're like, like deja vu happens. Is that what you're talking about? Like, no, we've been here before. This is happening again. And you're like, this is crazy. So what would you do? What would you do? How could you convince someone that you're in a Groundhog Day loop? So my first thought goes to, it depends on how many loops you've been in. If you've been in like a hundred loops and you know the events that are coming up, like for sure. If you showed a string of predictions where it's like, I know this is going to happen. That person is going to open that door. That person is going to say this. And you did it like 20 times in a row. I don't know if the person would be convinced, but would the person you're trying to convince that you're in a time loop would be like, what is going on here? This is very strange. So I would say prediction, 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 prediction. That comes true because you've been in the loop so many times. Hopefully that would be supporting evidence that you've been in the loop. What what would you do? So before I do that, more I can clarify, mm-hmm. the more specific the predictions are mm-hmm. and the more out of regular routine the predictions are, yep. like the more believable that it is that this person has has a prior knowledge. Right, right. So you want specificity and out of the ordinary as if much you're as like, possible. If you're like, you're going to get a coffee today, like I get a coffee every day, like that's not a prediction. Okay, right? <laughs> He's going to drive to work. Like that's not, that's not going to work. That's right. So I guess what I would do is orchestrate a very complicated difficult to predict scenario <clears throat> but that if you if you were to like look into it i totally orchestrated um but yeah <laughs> that would convince that would convince you right <laughs> yeah and but that's that is dependent on there being many time loops so you can build up the memory of what's going on if you've only been in like one or two time loops your memory isn't going to be so good that you can predict predict you can mm-hmm. tell the person what's going to happen so i think you got to wait in that case i don't think you can right okay but in this case renton tells hannah what the faces look like of her 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 confederates and that's information that he should not know yet and i think that was compelling yeah but it still falls under the what is it extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence it's true and there are there is it there are explanations in the real world that okay. would explain how he knows that because he's really okay. smart so he right. could look, he could have anticipated this move by Hannah, right? which is more plausible than time loop. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So they think he may still be working for Taurus. And so if Taurus, if he's working for Taurus, mm-hmm. Taurus could have given him profiles on what these people look like, in which case that's a more reasonable explanation, right? Like a more grounded in earth. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. It's a difficult problem. Difficult problem. So he does try with explaining what they look like, but... I think she is correctly not convinced, but then lashes out and calls him crazy. But I have an alternative answer. Okay. You get together with your friends and you come up with yeah. a plan. You say, if we say this sequence of words, that means we're a time loop and everyone, everyone like commits and <laughs> believes it. <laughs> right. Right. Okay. That's in a world where time loop is plausible. I mean, we're talking about it, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's true. <laughs> That's true. I just have no idea how that might happen. I guess that's also like the, let's have a time party. And you're like, the time party begins in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. You don't even have to plan it. Because if you have time travel. Oh, like, yeah. Oh, okay. so, it I just can, happens. Yeah, yeah, that's right. It happens. People <laughs> show me up will take time. care of it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> In fact, the less planning I do for the time party, the more compelling it is. Because the planning can be done in the future to get us back to the time party. <laughs> yeah, that's true. 